Sure. So robotic assisted surgery has been around for some time. Uh, the first versions of kidney transplant were performed in around 2009 to 2010, depending on who you ask uh, and who claims it. But and it's very commonly used for procedures like a prostatectomy that men undergo for cancers. Um, the basics of it are that the robotic arms are inserted into the patient through small incisions, kind of like laparoscopic surgery. And then the surgeon or their team will sit at the a console, which is separate from the patient. So surgeons not directly touching the patient while most of the operation's occurring, but it provides much more uh, enhancements in visualization, uh, much more uh, fine movements of the wrist and the instruments. Sure, for some patients, it'll result in smaller incisions, therefore fewer complications related to the incision, like infections or hernias. Uh, for cer certain patients, it may speed the recovery process as well, less discomfort and less uh, time in the hospital, potentially.